A Thursday morning as we go through spring break week coming live from Orlando, Florida. It's First News Keeler in the morning giving you a chance to win Comets tickets for tonight's game. And the Comets, of course, taking on Albany. Big deal. It's playoff night. Do or die for the Comets. And, Andrew, is it Nick in Yorkville? Uh, do I have that right? That is correct. Good morning, Nick in Yorkville. How are you doing this morning? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, can you use the tickets if you win them here? Oh, yeah. We were out there Saturday in Albany, too. We, we took okay. a ride out for Mellencamp and then went to uh, the Comet game. Oh, nice. All right. So you're a, uh, you're a big fan. I enjoy uh, hockey, yeah. Yeah, and and you know, listen, they're uh, they're playing. How was Mellencamp, by the way? Uh, did was it announced he's coming to uh, the Stanley, right? Yeah, M- Mellencamp was awesome. He had a little yeah, problem I... with some some guy in the crowd, but other than that, he was awesome. What happened? What well, was uh, the problem with the guy in the crowd? Oh, uh, he just had a, he just had a big mouth during a story. You know, Mellencamp likes to tell a story. Uh, yeah, impatience. You know, that's all. Yeah. Uh, so the guy uh, got into he... a confrontation with him. Well, not really. Just a shouting match from one corner of the auditorium to the stage. You know, Mel was he one? He had the microphone. <laughs> right, right. And we security lost. guards who could a, kick. We didn't get an encore because of that. But uh, wow, you know, get out of here! Up. But uh, he was he was awesome. Now, was, awesome. was it? Was he saying something like, uh, "Just sing. You're here to sing. We don't want to hear your stories." Exactly. Exactly. Uh, wow, I can't believe that. Yep. yep. Well, what are you going to do? All right, well, well, listen, it is what it is, and that show, by the way, is coming to the Stanley in the fall, but tickets go on sale when? Do you guys know when that goes on sale? Uh, Pretty tomorrow. soon, I just yeah. I heard. Is it tomorrow? Uh, all right, that should be a really uh, that should be a good show. I'm a big Mellencamp fan. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to throw out your question here, and it's good. You have seven seconds to answer it. Let's see how much you're playing for here. One, two, or three hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Right, hundred so beans. One hundred bucks plus... Your chance at uh, at Comets tickets here. And here you have seven seconds to answer the question. Here is your question. Name a congressman from the 1940s whose middle name was the same as the college he attended, which also, by the way, is a popular toothpaste. Ready? Go. Okay. Uh, middle name had to be Colgate. Uh... The middle name is Colgate, but what's the... Se- what's the- Okay, wait, wait a minute. Uh, Bill, listen. Bill, 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 Bill. There Bill. is no way anybody can answer this question. This is, this, the guy's name is James Cleveland. You ever heard of him? Sure. You have? Is James that... Colgate Cleveland. That's his middle <laughs> sure. name? Yeah, that's his middle name. <laughs> okay. right. Nick, Nick needs yeah. to get something just for, for. No, 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 I, Do we have I a real another, question? Can yeah, you ask another, another question. question? That is a terrible question. <laughs> He wasn't even a congress. I think he was a congressman from Vermont. How in the hell would we know that? Vermont. Um, all right, we're going to. Did you know it? No, had no idea. Okay, good. Don't, right. don't play smart. It. Don't play smart here, Nick, because it's going to get you another question. All right, all right. Here we go. Let's give you a different one. Um, this is for Comets tickets and one hundred dollars in cash. And here is your question. Uh, Madison County is home to three colleges. What are they? Ready, go. Uh, Morrisville, Colgate. I'm going to say Casanova. Uh, uh, listen, Nick. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Casanova is wow. in Madison wow. County. Gets the cash. And he gets the cash. Beautiful. How, how about that? Yep. And he's a and he's a fan who drove all the way out to Albany to watch him play. You got a pair of front row seats for tonight's game. The Comets taking on Albany. You pulled out Casanova right at the end. Yeah, that no was good. pressure. The clock is, awesome. is not an enemy of Nick's. I used to yep. go up over the hill to Casanova from Morrisville. It was a lot of fun. Well, there you go. And I got to tell you, there is no way. I mean that that James Colgate Cleveland question. I just I, I I don't know that anybody could have got. Where'd that, you so. come up with that one? All right, fair enough, fair enough. You get it. Congratulations, Nick. We give you the money, and we give you the Comets tickets for tonight's game. We'll hook you up. Stand by. Andrew's going to take care of you. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. All right, sit tight. Uh, little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two, Two American, American kids, grown kids up. best they can, or something like that. In the heartland. Uh, anyway. In the Heartland. That's where they were. Actually Somewhere in the in Heartland. Heartland. Where James Colgate Cleveland was their congressman. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs>
Uh, anyway, uh, okay, the tickets go fast. How about that? Uh, Madison County, home to three colleges, Morrisville, Colgate, and Casanova. That's absolutely correct. The 6 a.m. Right. hour, the smart hour. And the 6 o'clock hour, it's always known as that hour that everybody ends up winning, and certainly uh, they did. So pretty good stuff. Listen, got a great day on the way today. Sun and clouds with a high going to 60. News, top of the hour, hold tight. It's First News Keeler in the morning on WY.